I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Madam Gazelle's leaving party. It is home time at Peppa's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. Why, Madam Gazelle? I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Peppa and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> Sounds fun! It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK! I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Walking Gazelles. Hello, Walking Gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I was think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's... Against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I shall say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was, no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> Rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. 
her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Peppa, you have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen, so I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Aha! Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo ho ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <coughs> so tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. You see? Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Peppa, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <sniffs> please tell me, please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Peppa. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Peppa. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night, night, Pepper. Night, night, George. Night, night. Pepper and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. I'm Pepper Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Pepper Pig. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today Dr. Brown Bear is coming to show us an ambulance. I like ambulances. Ambulances. 
ambulances. <laughs> Will the ambulance go? Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, thank Nina. you, Freddy. I'm sure it will. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, children. Does anybody know what this is called? It's an ambulance. An ambulance? And who can tell me what it's for? Taking sick people to the hospital. That's right. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? Yes. <laughs> we normally use that only in a real emergency. Dr. Brown Bear, can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Yes, I'll show you. Using this teddy and this ball. Ooh. One day, Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, Nina! <laughs> First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Whoops! Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow! He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow! Oof. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow! And apples fell on his head. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Call an ambulance! The ambulance is here! Oh, yes! Everyone into the ambulance! <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Peppa. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say thank Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Our 
they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it alarm of the sailing club, Mara? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hats! <laughs> ah! 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 Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? <laughs> We don't need that boat. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me! Me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever! Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats Help. can't sail. Help! Help! We need to rescue Help. them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in. Here we go! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boys. We're towing the boats to shore. We're towing the boats to the car park. Towing the boats to be parked. I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? About what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, Old Bean. You're very welcome, Old Bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> <laughs> My little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mr. Bull's new road. Peppa is taking Goldie the fish to the vet for a checkup. <laughs> I like this road. It's all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Goldie likes it too. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. Stop! Here is Mr. Bull. What are you doing, Mr. Bull? We're digging up this old road to make a new one. Will it be wibbly-wobbly like the old road? 
No, Pepper. It will be straight. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a bit of shouting to do. Come on, lads! Now move on! Mr. Bull is the boss. Bosses like to shout. Keep up the good work! But how will we get Goldie to the vet? We'll just have to walk there. Pepper and Goldie have arrived at Dr. Hamster the Vets. Dr. Hamster helps sick pets get better. Hello, Dr. Hamster. I've brought Goldie the fish for her checkup. Ah, she's lovely. Is that the checkup? Yes, just make sure she drinks plenty of water. Oh, hello, Mr. Bull. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Sorry about the noise. We're building a new road. Will you take long? No, not long. We just have to knock this building down. <gasps> you can't knock this building down. No, this is where Polly Pets come to get better. Is it? Yes. Can't you make the road go around the building instead? Around the building? Around? But then the road wouldn't be straight. Busy people can't be wasting time driving around things. If you can't go around it, then can you go over it? No, that would be silly. What about going underneath it? Oh, a tunnel. That's very hard to do. Oh, someone's at the back door. Oh, hello. It is Mr Bull's brother. Hello. Sorry about the noise, but we're building a road and need to knock this building down. Dr Hamster's home for sick pets is in the way of the new road. Hello, everyone. Mr Rabbit is the road-building inspector. Hmm, things are looking a bit slack, Mr Bull. Why have you stopped working? This building is in the way. I said they should build a tunnel. Yes, a tunnel would do. Mm, yes, but that would be very hard to do. Are your machines not strong enough to make a tunnel? What? Our machines are the strongest machines in the world. We can build a tunnel. I'll dig from this side, I'll dig from the other side, and we'll meet in the middle. Hooray! Mr Bull and his brother are digging a tunnel through the hill. The tunnel has been dug. And the new road is finished. Congratulations, Mr. Bull. You did a fine job. Yes. Now all those busy people can get to where they're going more quickly. The new road is so nice and straight that lots and lots of cars have come to use it. Uh, they're not going that quickly. Hmm. There are more cars using this road than we had planned for. We'll need a bigger road. So, what are you going to do? Only one thing we can do, Pepper. We'll dig up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. <laughs> Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Caves. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. <laughs> Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello. Here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the case be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure! Oh, 
Should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please, follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! <sighs> Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel! <laughs> It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to uh... see you on the other side? Wow! Wait for me! Uh, 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 uh. If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant. Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh-huh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Peppa loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa's toy plane. Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. <laughs> we need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. 
Landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please! <coughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? <laughs> ah, you see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. <laughs> Juice for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aero... Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Pepper, it's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? Okay. 
Clickety clack, clickety clack, the tree man's on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety clickety clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? We, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honoured to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> My little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Susie goes away. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Let's play in my room. I'll be the princess. And this is my plastic crown. I want to be the nurse. And I need to check if you are well. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> I've got a secret. What is the secret? My mummy has got a new job. And we're moving to a new house. Wow. Mummy, mummy. <laughs> Susie is going to have a new bedroom in a new house. <laughs> yes, Mrs Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <laughs> oh, Pepper, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh. oh. 
Will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Pepper. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Pepper. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Pepper? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Pepper. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. It is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> 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 I will really miss you, Susie. <coughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <coughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we are both a bit bossy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait! <coughs> I made you a going away card. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. <coughs> I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh, you can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tinyland. Daddy, what is Tinyland? It's a world just like the real world, Pepper, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. But we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These
These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Ooh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Wow! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. <coughs> oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny Land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs>